Okay guys, today we are going to talk about making endpoints. And without further ado, let us get started. What's an endpoint? An endpoint is simply a unique URL that represents an object or collection of objects. Take an example of the following URL. This below is a URL, which is https example.com API banks. Now let us go to the next slide and I'll show you something. You make HTTP requests to endpoints. So whenever we are going to make an endpoint, we will have to define the endpoints business logic and also specify the HTTP methods that we are going to use in for that endpoint. We have a list of HTTP methods. One of it is um, get get is used to retrieve information from a resource from the server post post is used to create and then put is used to update uh, a resource and we have head which is not mostly used and um, we have delete which is used for deleting a resource and we have patch which is almost the same as put but uh, in our case, we are not going to use it. And then we have options, which uh, we are not going to use also. The common HTTP methods that you are going to use are get, post, and put, and delete. <laughs> when making an endpoint, you need to have the following. You need to have a view, a URL, and a serializer. Now, whenever you have a view, you must define uh, the business logic in that uh, view and also define the HTTP method that you're going to use if it's a get, post, delete, okay, or put. Now, you must also have a URL. Your endpoint must have a URL. I will show you where we are going to define those uh, URLs in the application. And then lastly, you also need to have a serializer, which we already did. In our case, we are going to work with all of this, a view, a URL, and a serializer, okay? Now, this is a list of endpoints that we are going to make. We are going to make the bank uh, endpoint, which will have the following HTTP methods, the get, post, put, and delete. We are going to also have API branch, which will also have get, post, put, and delete. And then we are going to have API clients, which will also have get, post, and put. We are going to also add delete for just, I'll show you how to implement this, because we also need to delete a client. But I was thinking in this context that if you are a bank, you don't need to delete a client. You need to deactivate a client, right? So that method will lie mostly on the put method. So we update a client as a deactivated mm -hmm. So in our models in the future, we're going to change it. Then also, we'll also have API accounts. We're going to create uh, customer accounts. We are going to also have a method that retrieves customers' accounts. Uh, we're going to have a method that updates customers' accounts information, okay? Then we're going to have another point, which is API withdraw. A customer withdraws money and then we'll have an, an endpoint which is a deposit lastly we'll have an endpoint which will do transfer 